Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, no matter where you're in the world, you know who it is, JJ on JJ's PC Builds. I want to welcome everybody that's done, you know, subscribe to the channel, welcome all new subscribers, welcome to the family, welcome to JJ's PC Builds. And if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe, we would appreciate it. We're trying to work towards 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. What I mean by 4,000 watch hours, if you watch the videos from beginning to end, we got over 200 plus. So make sure you watch them all, it would help support the channel, you know, and help us get on, keep on growing. So I do welcome again everybody that just subscribed to the channel. Welcome to the family. All right, let's get to the brass tacks of why this video is going on. The thing is, is this. Well, before that, well, <laughs> let's make sure you got your drink. Make sure you got your snacks, which I do. So let's get to the brass tacks of the video. I know everybody's wanting to hear something go on about, you know, what's going on in NVIDIA and what's going on with AMD. But today what we're going to be doing is this. We're going to be doing a video on the new Adrenaline, uh, the AMD Adrenaline 23.3.4, if I remember right. I'll have to take a look. I think it is. But... Let's get down to the brass tacks. Let's go ahead and try to move our way up to that point and get over to the, get over here to, uh, see that always happens. Let's go ahead and get over here to the action screen. There we go. That way you all can see what's going on. Okay, so what we do is we type in AMD and we type in the 23.4.3, hit enter. Okay, and there we are, new release. Always, it's, it always asks you to accept the cookies, but I always do, so it doesn't really matter. So, looking at this, it says Star Wars, supported for Star Wars, the Jedi Survivor. Fixed issues. Red corruption may occur on World War II. Aftermath when using the Vulcan API and long, longer than expected shader compilation. Um, time when first launching The Last of Us Part 1. Okay, the known issues is high idle power. Usually it's between the resolution and the high refresh. If you turn them up, it usually it's like a high idle power. So when you turn it up for your screens. So me, I don't use it because I don't use the software itself. Because I'm on an integrated graphics, the iGPU from AMD. So, but it's still good to know if you're using a discrete graphics card. This is really good to know. You know, video stuttering or performance drops may be observed during gameplay and video play. Some extended video or display configurations on Radeon 7000 series GPUs. This is always uh, this always the fact, even with the 6000, you know, going down to the 5000, you know, and so on. So... Some virtual reality games and applications may experience lower than expected performance on Radeon 7000 series GPUs. Okay, it's still, like I told you, it's still the same rundown if it's the 6000 series or the 7000 series or the 5000 series. It's still going to be the same thing. So... You know, in brief display, corruption may occur switching between video game, video and game on Windows. Some AMD graphics products such as Radeon RX 6700 XT. Well, that's, it says the 6700 XT, but do be advised if it says that, usually somewhere in between there, one of the 6000 series are going to have the same problem. Application crash may be intermittently observed playing RunScape or some uh, AMD products such as 
RX 5700 XT. So, you know, it's going to happen. That's that's about, you see that about every month. So, usually it's going to have some kind of a, a good and a bad to it when it comes to the software. If you're going to use the software, the good and bad, it might be doing all this extra crap. Usually because they got that new, that Watt man that's in there. And if that Watt man's not configured correctly, then you're probably 9 out of 10 chances going to have these same problems. I don't use that's the reason why I don't use the AMD adrenaline is because it has the watt man in there I control everything from the bias and I'm done so I'm happy with that but there is gonna come a point in time I'm gonna have to get a discrete graphics card because the simple fact is that the integrated graphics are not gonna be like this forever so unless they do some kind of better upgrading for the integrated graphics to keep up with the um, to keep up with what's going on on gaming today then you know that'll be a little bit of a different story but for right now it is what it is so the fact like I said again the factory reset has been disabled they do have they do have the AMD cleanup utility. You can download from AMD.com if you're wishing to go and clean up the AM, the graphics drivers specifically. That's the best way to go. I wouldn't use anything else other than this. I've used it many of times. The AMD cleanup utility never had a problem. Never. It always cleaned everything up and I was always happy with that. So, now AMD is working with the game developers on Hogwarts Legacy to resolve some issues with water corruption uh, on some of the AMD graphics products, such as the RX 580. You know, I mean, that's a good, that's a positive note that they're working on, you know, getting everything up to specifications. So, if you want to know what's on my mind, it's all good in the neighborhood, okay? Now, the compatibility with the products, you all know the 7900, this, the 6000 series, the 5000 series, Vega graphics, which I have, the Radeon RX Vega series graphics, which I use. That's the integrated graphics. The 500 series and the 400 series graphics. Now that's, I'm going to tell you, that's a very wide range for for your uh, your desktop PC. So, I mean, it works. I mean, the compatibility with the processors with Radeon graphics. I mean, it's always a good thing to make sure that it's compatible because if you go to download it and it's not compatible then you're just wasting space and time so always make sure you go down to the compatibility page before you download it to make sure that you can download it for your discrete or your integrated graphics or if it's for um, a laptop make sure it's compatible with your laptop it's always good to keep them up to date even though that it's got its ups and downs it's always good to keep them up to date so i haven't installed this one just yet so i can't really tell you but the next time i'll let you know on the next video about how the drivers are operating if they're still operating the same as the last time if they're keeping consistent so if they're keeping consistent on the driver software and I'm not having any issues then I'll let you all know so that will be on the next time so but this one just came up to date I will be installing it today right after I get done making this video I'm gonna install it update it and get it all in there and then I'm going to finish out the video and, you know, go ahead and uh, upload it to YouTube so that way y'all can see it. But this is the, this is right here, the AMD Adrenaline 
23.4.3 just came out from AMD a couple days ago. So if you're going to update your drivers, it's best to keep them updated. Even though that they got their hiccups in them, you know, I haven't heard anything more on, you know, if AMD software is burning up the the graphics cards. Or I haven't heard none of that. So obviously the problem got fixed where they said that it was burning up, you know, burning up the, the GPU dies. But I haven't heard anything or seen anything. So this is just right now. This is just about the AMD Adrenaline 23.4.3 for y'all. And I'll let you know on the next video about how the drivers are reacting to my integrated graphics. And yeah, I know you all are probably saying, well, he's been going eight months on these integrated graphics. When is he going to get a discrete graphics card? I will soon enough. I will soon enough. Right now, I'm just working with what I have, trying to save up. And that way I can get the next build going, which is the sleeper build. I did tell you all I'm going to have that. And that is the next on the agenda. So as soon as I get all the parts, I'll go ahead and I'll do, I'll do it in a three-part. Probably do a three-part, do a disassembly, a reassembly, and a benchmarking. So... Unless you all want it the same video, we can do it all at one time. And that way you all see it from A to Z. So, we can go from there. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cut the video right here. I know it's only a short video, but you guys, I know, I know you don't want long, long videos. And I know you don't want short videos. So, but this one's not too long, so we're going to go ahead and cut it here. But if this is your first time watching this video, make sure you subscribe. We still need 1,000 subscribers and 4,000 watch hours. So make sure you subscribe. Throw some positive likes on here. Let YouTube know that, you know, you're involved. You want other people to be involved. You want to keep the channel rolling. You want to get everybody just into the, to the mix. But... What we're going to do is we're going to slap ourselves to the other screen. There we go. So, until, until the next time and the next video, this is JJ on JJ's PC Builds. We will see you on the next one.